Hi, everybody. Good morning. Terry Harden, Walt Disney's legendary Imagineer here. How are you on this fine Monday morning, which in California, we're being warmed, warned, will be hot. Yes, indeed. It's going to be a short broadcast today. Don't you just get like, think, how can this person be late? And then again, they're going to leave early. But I have to. I had a very, very, very busy, busy weekend. Uh, the Disneyana fan club, of which I spoke quite a bit about before, uh, honored me as a Disney legend. And here is the trophy that I do with my box. Well, there it is. Oh, I put it in the sleeve again. Can't really see it too well because it is uh, crystal. <laughs> but isn't it beautiful? Uh, on the back, if I put my hand behind it, you, you can't even see it if I put my hand behind it. It really needs a back a back, black background, so I'll use the box as I hold it up here for you to see uh, what it says, but uh, there it is, Disneyana. They're an international club, and they honor you as a, they honor people who are Imagineers and have contributed to Disney very well. They honor them with uh, an award, and that was my night, Saturday night. Um the reason I'm sounding like Peppermint Patty is because I was also the opening speaker on Saturday morning. So I was a little frazzled on Friday because I had to prepare for a presentation on my park, which is Disneyland Paris and the Dragon's Lair. So Dragon's Lair, Disneyland Paris, I had to do a little presentation about what I did, how it worked, tell stories. And for those of you who know me, keep it within 45 minutes, including a QA. and a All right. So I have to prepare for that because in order to stay within the brackets of a, of a, of a speaking, and this is very important because if you speak, if you're out there and you're a speaker, just going one minute over is one minute too long. It tells the event, it, it panics your event planner. And it also tells the person who follows you that you are more important, that you believe you're more important than they are. And I, when I was told this by the amazing Jim Rohn, uh, the world's most top speaker until he passed in 2009, and I think he still is, but he told me that that's what I was doing. And I was like, but that's not how I feel. He said, then you better get off the stage when you're supposed to, shouldn't you? Think more of others than yourself. And I really took it to heart. And so it was very important. In fact, I shared it with the audience. I said, I'm going to keep to this one subject because if I go off on other subjects, I'll go over and I must not do that to Bob Gurr, who was following me in the, he was speaking next. And Bob Gurr is my friend and an amazing Disney legend in his own right. He's a Disney legend. He was honored way before me by the Disney Anna fan club and honored by Disney themselves. Um, after Saturday, I know Disney's going to say, well, we better make her a legend because uh, the Disney Anna Flan Club International did. So, so the first thing I had to do was plan for that, which meant I did a slideshow. I put keys in the slideshow to remind me when the slides were done, and if we had time, I could go on with a couple of things that were not pertaining to the 30th anniversary. And then I also uh, uh, let the audience know that I was working on a time frame. That way they could keep me on schedule because you always do. And I love you for it. And then um, I had to write a script, which when I finally went to present left on a podium, I couldn't get to. So luckily I read through it and practiced it a couple of times because I like to speak from my heart. So I don't want it to sound like it's memorized. It's just, and, and it was, it was just from my head to the, to the people. So I was worried about that. Then I had to be ready for the dinner. I had to make sure I had my signing pins because I had done a special drawing for everyone at the dinner and they were printed and I knew they were going to come and ask me to sign them. Wanted to make sure I had that. Wanted to make sure I had an outfit because I should dress up for this occasion. And I'm someone who spends most of her life in pajamas. So pajamas, it wasn't a pajama party dinner. It was yeah, I had to look nice. So I wore this shirt. This is, you might be thinking, ooh, lovely Haunted Mansion shirt, but this is actually a Muppets Haunted Mansion shirt. And the Muppets Haunted Mansion shirt I wear because I'm a Muppeteer. I thought it was perfect for me. And then I had this amazing coat 
that uh, was made for me that I designed and it has a heart here. And I say, I wore my heart on my sleeves. So I really wanted to, to let them know that I was respecting them by taking uh, dressing up because I can be cool casual because my hair is such a nice ornament, but you don't want to do that. You want to look nice. And as luck would have it, I was going to share the sage with the amazing Kim Irvine, but she got COVID and she was praying that she was done and uh, she wasn't. So she had to bow out of the event and she was heartbroken. She was just heartbroken that she couldn't come. And so was I, because I love the amazing Kim Irvine. She's the one that back in the nineties, they pick an Imagineer who has more notoriety than a new Imagineer. And at that time I was a fairly new Imagineer designing my first attraction uh, sculptures for the park. So when they introduced me to the park with my first set of jewels of the park, which were ride vehicles, they brought Kim in because they knew people would come and see Kim and then get to see me. That my name at that time was not enough draw to bring anybody in, but Kim's were. Isn't that nice at Disney? Really nice. And Kim was delightful. So I was really looking forward to seeing her too. I'm going to miss, I'm, my heart's going out. I want her to know that I missed her. But it turned out that the Disney Anna Fan Club said, it's really a good idea that we had you on the stage by yourself, Terry. And now we're going to put Kim on the stage because Kim is also going to talk about her mother, the amazing Leota, who is Madame Leota in the crystal ball of the Haunted Mansion. So pretty exciting. A lot of stuff that we can look forward to seeing Kim. They're going to reschedule her and take good care of her. But that was my night that night. And I was very touched by it. Very, very touched at how many people showed up, how vested they were. And Terry's tribe, you knew I was going to say it. I bet you you were holding your breath. But if you want your voice to be heard and you want to be in an area where there's love and kindness with the anger that's been going on in this world, I was insulated. I could not believe the shootings and the violence that happened just this week, this last week. It was devastating to me. And uh, I knew nothing about it because I am insulated by the fan club and the tribe. It was just heartbreaking. But if you want to be insulated, you want to come out from the cold and get this warmth, then you need to go here, patreon.com slash Terry Harden, $5 a month, $60 a year, to be a part of this. Your voice needs to be heard. We want your brain in the mix. It's not just artists. It's people who are passionate about what they do. And you're really going to love these people. Uh, 20 of them came to the event and it was so flattering and so touching that they were all there. And then amongst themselves, they raised money for my charity. One of my charities is the children's hospital of orange County. I have a chalk walk team there and they, they, they donated money to that over a hundred dollars just on the fly. And uh, my, my team captain was, she just didn't know what to say. She got very emotional. So they had a great time. Uh, we have a couple of cast members in there in the tribe. And one of them, the amazing, the great mouse detective, Melissa Eiler, she uh, is tr going with the tribe today and going to give them, she's going to give them, you know, they're going to do a Disneyland thing. Okay. And she surprised one of our members who's just the salt of the earth with a little gifty. And so uh, he's just beside himself too. And they're all going to Disneyland. I'd say probably a half a dozen of them. And they're just, they're just, they're just really, really uh, uh, looking forward to it. So it's a great group. And for just a little bit, believe me, I over deliver. And uh, we have a Zoom call every Wednesday. And now we're starting to do Monday nights because a lot of people work in the office and they can't chime in. And it's fun to actually participate in the Zoom calls. So uh, if you're, you're interested, this is where you go. And uh, I hope that you will join us because... Uh, it's a great group of people. It's not, it's not me. You know, I started it on Patreon, but boy it is, you know, so, you know, you start something and it just keeps growing kind of like a souffle. You sit and the souffle goes, boop, 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 boop. that's the tribe. It's become this beautiful souffle and uh, it just keeps growing with, with beautiful kindness and attractions. What else can I tell you? An important thing before I go to the comments, and that is, yes, it's going to be short, but I do have stuff I need to tell you, which is why I came instead of sleeping only had a few hours. Because after that, the next day I was at the show and sale 
And at the show and sale, you know, if you're going to make sure people get things that they love, like the Cheshire Cat, you got to engage. Can't sit back there on your iPhone. People don't find that fun. They feel you don't care about them. Here, there's my stuff. And you got the iPhone in front of your face. It just doesn't work. So I engage with every single person there, talk to them about what they want to talk about, talk to them how they're feeling. And, uh, and honestly, uh, it's amazing. And uh, um, kids who come up and talk to me or don't really talk to me, but their grandparents or their parents or whatever, talk and say, aspiring artist, uh, what is your advice to them? And I tell them, I tell them, yeah, yeah, I'm very open and honest about it. And, uh, and it's, it's fantastic. It, it's just a great group of people. So I hope you will consider joining us. All right. Okay. Let's go. Oh, like I said, important thing. I will not be broadcasting next Friday. Let me say that again. I will not be broadcasting next Friday because I'm flying to Texas on this Wednesday to take care of some stuff. Okay. So I'm gathering with another great group of people there. Not a lot, but a good group. And uh, I want to be sure to give them my full attention. It's two hours later in Texas. So um, I'm going to fly in, visit with them, and then fly home. So uh, uh, I'll be back Monday, okay? Monday, I will be broadcasting. So have a great weekend. Enjoy yourself. And uh, I will remind you, I'll put a I'm not broadcasting today broadcast thing up. And uh, and you can you can take a look at that so that you know that that's what happen, is happening, okay? I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss that. I love the, the Q&A part, so I'm going to miss you. Okay, I think, let me just look at my notes. I think that's everything that I wanted to share with you as of now. Um, um, it was just an amazing experience. Everything was magical. I was between the amazing Bob Gurr, who designed your, you know, your monorail, your, all the vehicles, a lot of the vehicles lead back to Mr. Bob Gurr. And he and I have been friends for a long, long time. And, uh, he's just, he's just salt of the earth. And, uh, so I had him on one side and I had the amazing Rick law on the other side. And I wanted to show you what Rick gave me. It's a really lovely piece that he gave me as a gift. And it was great. I was just the happy, as I've said to the tribe today, I was the happy little, piece of turkey between two sourdough, which is my favorite bread. Uh, and it was just a lovely day for us and a lovely day, it seemed, for all of you. It was great. And I had uh, really good sales, which always doesn't hurt. But that's nice because if you're trying to help another person do something what they love and talk to them about earning the money, you want to be able to back it up with what you've done and be able to show them. So, so that's the deal. But it was wonderful. Let's see what you have to say. Because like I said, it's going to be short and sweet today because I need to get some rest. Um, Bob says, you're an amazing lady and a cherished friend. And let me tell you, after I spoke on Saturday night, we had a lot of promises to join the tribe. I think the tribe is going to have about five or ten new members. And that's a big deal. Okay, I'm really, really excited about that and uh, excited to have them come. To One joined us today. And uh, it was so great that, you know, I try to get in and, and get you all set so that you don't have to wait to be part of the private put Facebook page and come on and see us. And uh, um, David was really excited and I was really excited too. So, so it was cool. Um, Joseph says, legend Terry Harden. Yeah, indeed. And Joseph, we'd like to see you soon too. So uh, uh, that would be a lot of fun to see you as well. Uh, the Disney Anna Fan Club is going to have an October event, and I believe it's the weekend just before Halloween weekend. So I'm not, you know, like if I look at October, let me just look at that. I know I, I, Stephanie usually and Darren keep me on point here, but the problem is, guys, that they're at Disneyland today, and and uh, Stephanie is uh, works with the Disney Anna Fan Club as a volunteer, and she is so good at what she does that uh, they. Um, She's helping them, uh, what do they call it when the when the uh, convention is over? Load out. She's helping them load out. But let me get to my calendar here. That's what I did wrong is I took the pen from my calendar and I can't just, oh, there it is. No, I didn't. I just thought I did. Okay, if we jump to October, let me just share with you the October date is going to be... Uh, 
Let's see, what does it say here? Uh, possible something day. Oh, I, oh, okay. No, I don't know what it is. Anyway, I believe it's the 22nd and the 23rd, which is indeed the weekend before Halloween weekend, which is the 29th and the 30th. Now on the 29th and the 30th, I will probably be teaching pumpkin classes. But if you want to, Joseph, put that in your calendar and start saving your pennies. We'd love for you to have you come down and check us, check the Disney. I will be there at least for the show and sale, but I've also offered my services in a couple other ways because I love helping them too. So there could be more surprises there too. Also, uh, I, you know how much I love charities. Uh, Give Kids the World has uh, booked me for their Disney, Disney con, Disney con. And that is September 30th and October 1st. October is already getting good and crunchy. Uh, but they are going to have me come down and I am going to suggest a sculpture for them. And it's going to be a very special Give Kids the World sculpture. Okay, so I'll be working on that for them. And uh, they don't know yet, but that's kind of, well, if they're watching, they do. But the point is, is I think I, I am going to do figment for the fall for you guys to collect. Okay, just so you know. But this figment will be different. It'll probably be a little bit bigger. And I want to do something with the kids. So I want it to be a Give Kids the World figment that people can bid on one of a kind. Yeah. So we'll see. I'm going to talk to the coordinators there. They just wanted to, you know, grab the, the peeps first. And let's see what we can do to really make it special uh, at my at my event. So uh, at my event, at the event that they've invited me to. See, there I go. Mm -mm, it's not my event. It's their event. But I love uh, charities and I really love Give Kids the World. It's going to be in Florida at, uh, what do they call it? Disney Springs? It's going to be there. So look it up and maybe save your pennies, pennies to go to that. You know, you may not be able to go to everything, but uh, treat yourself because I hear it's amazing. It's their second. Uh, convention. Nate, hello. Nice to see you on this side of the fence. Um, uh, Nate is one of the tribe and uh, it's just so wonderful to do it. Hi, Marianne. Uh, we got to connect, girl, because I've got a couple of things I'd like to talk to you specifically about, but not today. <laughs> As you can tell, I have hardly no voice, but, uh, but uh, yeah, uh, very, very fun. Um, hey, Terry and friends from Angie. Hi, Angie. I missed you all so much. Where are we today at today? I was late. So must have missed some info. So, so Angie, uh, play it back. But basically, I won't be broadcasting Friday because I'll be in Texas. I'm, I'm meeting with a group of people there. Uh, I am an international speaker, so I travel, but I'm not traveling a lot. But this is a group of people that help me brainstorm to do bring better content to you. And uh, so I'm going to meet with them um, this weekend. Well, this Friday and Saturday, I'm meeting with them. So I won't be here, but I'll be back Monday. Okay. So hang in there, but I'll be back Monday. And Monday, I'll show you more stuff uh, as we go. But then I talked a little bit, Angie, about my 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 award for being a Disney legend that was given to me by the Disney Anna Fan Club. Hello. Hi, Leo. You were really, really in the uh, thoughts and hearts of the tribe. In fact, I gave Darren your prize, uh, your little prize from the giveaway we did. Every month we do a giveaway on, on Patreon and my Terry's Tribe page. So you were there, but people were thinking of you and anyone who wasn't there, they were just full of that you know, wish they were here, but glad that we are. And about 20 of them came out. So it was really, really, really special. My family, I had about 10 of my family come out and friends. So uh, that was cool too. Uh, hello, legend. Thank you. How sweet of you. Yeah, it feels amazing. Uh, you look very pretty today. Thank you, Angie. Uh, it's the, it's the spinoff. <laughs> I was not going without having my hair done. I was not going to be on stage without having my hair done. And my hairdresser was nice enough to do it on a Friday, but that meant I was up very late Friday and, uh, and then first up on Saturday. So I won't say I wasn't a little bit off, but you know, I am the caffeine in your coffee. And so uh, going first 
Bob Gurr just needed a little time. He didn't want to be the very, very one first up. And then Garner Holt followed probably more of a night person. But it was a great event. It was amazing. Good morning, Terry. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. I'm very, very, I'm telling you, the room was packed. I felt like I was Bob Gurr. The world needs more pajama party dizzers. Yes, yes. I mean, I mean, I was talking about it. When I gave my talk, I only had 45 minutes. You, you know, I mentioned that. So I made it exclusively because you got to let people in the room know who you are. So I talked about being half black and I showed my family. And then I talked about my husband who has my back, and who was there. They had a Lindsay sighting, as I tell people. He is amazing. And many people don't believe I have a husband. They were realized I do. And he's amazing. And then you got to be sure that that is in the time frame that you're giving. I have a clock and it, and I take, a, I touch it to know when I'm supposed to be off. And I told everybody, I want to keep the time because, because I don't want to be rude to Bob Gurr or Garner Holt. So, uh, or to them either, but many of them wanted to know more about me. There were several people there that did not know who I was. And so you have to do that if you're a speaker and then you go into your presentation and then it's nice to leave the back end for Q and A. That's kind of how you do it. Three nice little chunks. And, uh, that's the way I did it. But a lot of people wanted to know more, which is so charming and wonderful. So this pajama party dinner might be the thing that those that want to stay up and hear stories, we could put it out the mats like we did when we were in kindergarten and people could have their little milk or tea or whatever. And I'll just sit and tell stories, maybe even bring a puppet. And uh, that could be a lot of fun. So uh, that's a possibility. Um, I got to say thank you to the Disney Anna fan club. Uh, they were all wonderful, wonderful people, and they just made me feel so uh, lovely. And uh, Paul, and I always mess up his last name, so I'm not even going to try. We're going to call him Paul S. But Paul was a great interviewer. He did a great job. He did a great job. He was very nervous because he's a, he's a friend of mine as well, and he wanted to do right by me. And I said, just being there and giving me the honor, you did right by me. So he's an amazing guy. He did a great job. And I want to thank Paul. I want to thank Theo for helping me with my AV. And I want to thank uh, Nicolasa and all the team out there, Linda, Nicolasa, everybody out there, that uh, Brian and Darren, all of y'all that were just giving everything to it. Forgive me if I don't mention your name, but uh, you know in my heart that I think you're all magnificent. And every single person watching after me, watching after uh, everybody there. I went around and said hello to everyone at the table, every table. In fact, it became a running joke was when was Terry going to eat? And uh, uh, I wanted to eat. I really did, but I needed to visit. They separate you in tables. And so if I'm at the front with my back to you, how are you really going to, how am I going to know who's there? And how am I going to say thank you to those who are there? So I went around and said hello to everybody and well and thanked them for coming. And then they asked me, I had done drawing for the VIPs there. Could they get it signed? Of course you can afterwards. <clears throat> That's included. So it was fabulous. It just was nice. But you're right, Angie. I'm up for that pajama party. Many of the Disneyland fan club members voiced what a good choice in making you a legend and said you are a great storyteller. We all agree. Oh, thank you, Bob. Thank you. Yes, a lot of people told me it was the best they'd ever heard. Very kind since I got to see how many people were up there before me that were honored as legends. You know, you had Andreas Deja, you had uh, Bill Justice, you had Mark Davis, you had Alice Davis, you had both of the Sherman brothers. These are amazing names. So uh, I, uh, Bob Gurr, can't not say Bob Gurr, Marty Scalar, can't not say Marty Scalar, uh, but a lot of people that I've worked with and love and care about. And uh, uh, it was just, it was, it was some big shoes to fill. And I really loved filling them. I found it to be very, very special. In fact, Bob Gurr says, I don't give a presentation. I'm a thrill ride. And it's a good thing that this particular lady, when you hear me speak, there's only one. Bob Gurr said he doesn't think the world could handle two. So Bob's always saying such lovely things to me, and he's such a lovely guy. 
uh, and you, as you all are. So uh, I really appreciate the support that I'm getting and I want to share it with you, which is why I pester you about being part of the tribe all the flipping time. <laughs> I'm glad you take it in stride. You're a good group. So we love it. Hello, Lee. See, Lee, I was saying you ought to be here and you ought to be in the tribe too. Because Lee, you could, we could visit all the time and people would love to hear our stories about it. However, if you join the tribe, you would definitely dethrone Bob Burdine as being my oldest friend at the table. It would be Lee Forbes, who's known me since I was pretty much a baby. Uh, we did the Rock Your Art Picture Show together uh, back in the early days of the Tiffany. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. Brilliant photographer, Lee Forbes. Yeah, he's amazing, amazing fellow. Diane, congratulations on your Disney Legends Award from the Disney Anna Fan Club. You are a treasure and hugs. Yeah, uh, uh, Diane, not Deanna, sorry, Diane. Uh, Diane Sebo brought her great-grandson to see me, six-year-old Matthias. And we, we, you know, children are very shy because for one thing, they're not quite sure how to take me in with all of this. And uh, my exuberance, I try to be at their level and be back a bit and feel how they're they're responding. He he talked to me, but when he really wanted to say a long sentence, he whispered it in 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 great grandma's ear. So uh, uh, we're I, I've suggested that he join the tribe because he wants to be an artist and he wants to know what are some of the next steps. He's absolutely a doll, so I hope he will join because he's a lovely, lovely young man, Diane. And thank you for bringing him. He was the highlight of my day. Please let him know that I said that or just play this for him. Awesome job. Thank you, Lee. Thank you. Marianne, I remember those, those road pieces. That's how we met uh, all those years ago. Absolutely, Marianne. And I got to tell you, I missed you uh, at this event, but it was so great to see people. And to, you know, uh, people were very, very uh, safe and kind and outgoing. And it didn't hurt to have the reminder when Kim Irvine said she had COVID. We all were like, see, let's not take this too lightly. Let's realize it's still out there trying to uh, get us. So uh, uh, we all made sure that we made each other safe. A lot of times I'll put on a mask if someone else is masked up out of respect, you know, um, and most of the time indoors, if there's a lot, a lot of people, but, uh, and in elevators, absolutely in elevators. Cause you, you, in a hotel, you never know who's going to get on the elevator. And my husband was kind of mask on mask off. He's the one that's high risk. I said to him, when you're on the elevator, you got to put on your mask. You just don't know who's going to step on the floor. And in right after he put the mask, before he went on the elevator in came three extremely drunk uh, young men in their twenties, they were pretty out there. So, uh, and no masks. So this is where I get concerned. It's not concern for the people who take responsibility, but when you're a little bit inebriated, you sometimes get a little too close and, uh, you could be carrying. So my husband and I were really happy. We were wearing masks at that instant because in they stumbled, uh, we had to help them with the room numbers, you know, they were pretty, pretty well marinated. So those are kind of people you just kind of go, eh, just be careful with those guys. Yeah. So that's what we did. I saw some photos of the weekend, including one of you at your table uh, on David Koenig's page. Yay. Yes, David is the love. And a lot of people are sharing. And I've got pictures to share. My husband was there shooting the whole thing. And we're going to do a video. Uh, we've got all kinds of stuff planned for content. So uh, you'll get to see a snippet of that and um, there'll be some uh, more stuff on the Patreon page. Of course there will be. Yes, you knew that was coming, didn't you? Yes, you did. Good morning. And it's about time they gave uh, you some recognition. Congratulations. Thank you, Paula. That is so sweet of you. Yeah. And the funny thing is I felt the same way. People were like, I said, okay, I'll take my ego and get off the stage. Everybody just laughed because if you don't, <coughs> Forgive me. If you don't root for yourself, who will? Okay, besides me, I'll be rooting for you too, okay? But I did make the speech at the dinner about the people in the audience because I care about you. 
I want you to realize that as a human being, you're very special. You might be going through some tough stuff, but that's what God does. He tempers the metal and that which does not kill you makes you stronger. I've been through a lot of it. Um, you could ask me on ask me anything Friday, but not this Friday. I'm not here. Okay. But you can ask me those questions. I'll, I'll let you know if it's inappropriate, but I will answer the deep, dark questions of how I was growing up and how my father couldn't pick me up at a water fountain because he's black and I'm white. And what, first of all, which water fountain do you go to, white or black? And you can't touch me to lift me up because a, a black man couldn't touch a white girl, especially children. And I'm his daughter. So there are some heavy stuff that I went through and I know that. So I want you to understand how important it is that you respect the fact that you're a human being and you're special. Okay. I talk a lot about this on the tribe, but I want you to know from my heart right now, you're very special. You're not a goose. You don't have to fly back. You don't say, I love the winter and why am I flying south? I don't want to go south. Well, you, you know that you are so magical as human beings. And I said this in my talk, you're so magical as a human being. If today sucks, you can go to sleep and make tomorrow better. Who else in the world can do that other than a human being? So uh, if you're out there feeling kind of cruddy, uh, know that I, I shower my kindness on you and you're going to get through it because you're a human being. Give it the tenacity and know for a lot of these things that are happening to people, uh, it's not their fault. Okay. Um, if you're finding that all of a sudden you're in a situation where you had a home and then you didn't, the people in our Laguna fire, they're probably feeling really cruddy right now. 22, 26 homes lost, completely burned to the ground. No time to get anything out. It was awful. It was horrible. It was terrible. Not because they're mega multi-million dollar homes. No, it's because all of those memories, no time to get out. They got out with the skin of their teeth in their lives. It was it their fault. No, it was not their fault. So if you find yourself, you know, struggling at a time when you thought you didn't think it would happen or, it, you know, I mean, it never comes when you want it to, but understand that it's not your fault and that it will get better. Just keep hang in there. Just hang in there. Okay. All right. Stephen Golden, Mazel Tov on your award. Thank you, Stephen. We did get to see the amazing Steve Zoll and, uh, and your, 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 other wonderful guy. We got to see him. Forgive me. Um, I've only had a few hours sleep, but I did want to pop in and let you know nothing on Friday, but uh, I'll come back Monday. Okay. But Stephen, a lot of love. Your ears must have been burning because we were talking a lot about you affectionately on that day. Yes, Paula, you think? <laughs> she says, I look tired and get some rest. I also sound tired. My husband says, Peppermint Patty voice. <laughs> Uh, why are you mad, Leo and Holzer joking? <laughs> yeah, Bob, make that clear. Make clear you're joking because I was like, what? What? <laughs> Leo says 20 tribe members made it and probably an equal number really wish they could have made it in the into the ceremony. You, yes, but here's the thing, tribe guys. You're going to see it. Yes, my husband recorded it and uh, you're going to get to see it. You, uh, and, and clips will be here, but you'll get to see it. Okay, I promise, I promise, I promise. Because I know how many of you wanted to come. So you're not being left out, okay? You're, we thought of all of you. And uh, I'm sure when you ask other tribe members, they're going to say the same thing, so. Hang in there, Leo. We, we love you. We want you to get well, not jeopardize your health. Joe says, so this coming Friday, no, no, no. I'm in Texas. And what happens is if I go on at 9.30 here, it's 12.30 in Texas. It's right in the middle of my event, my meeting with my with the people. So I can't, I can't. I mean, he may. Okay, here's the thing. My, my mentor may say, let's go live. OK, if he does just sort of look because I'm not going to say he won't. He's the one who taught me how to do all this content. The amazing Tim Gillette. So uh, he might just say, let's take this opportunity and do it together. But we'll fight over whose channel. Right. You know, anyway, so I'm saying no. But if it turns out to be a yes, uh, just look for it. OK. And we'll see. We'll see. Maybe we'll discuss it on meeting in Wednesday and Friday. So we'll see if we can get it worked out for you guys. If it does, I will let you know. All right. I promise. Yes. Won't be broadcasting this Friday 
unless Tim Gillette says, let's do it. Okay. So you might hover, but uh, no plans right now. Yeah. NZ, no live streaming. Yes. Thank you for defining that, Joe. I figured that's what you were asking. I sort of guessed though, those short, short ones. I'm so glad you translated for me. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Great company. But where was your, where was my, where was my husband sitting? That's a really good question, Leo. My husband had the camera and he was sitting directly, directly opposite me. So there were no pictures of him whatsoever. And I'll tell you one thing. There was a trivia contest, Disney trivia contest that was about this thick. Okay. I exaggerate. It was about three or four pages front and back. And when we went to lunch, all the, di all the tribe collaborated. Okay. The entire tribe collaborated and said the answers. Now here's what we all agreed to do. I put my husband's name on my paper and I said to my husband, should he, for some obscure reason, win one of the two prizes being offered, it would be in the tribe treasure chest, which means we will give it to one lucky person who's in Terry's tribe. You don't have to be present to win. Uh, however, if you were a tribe member and you won, you got to keep it because I'm not going to make you give away something that you're so excited to receive. You came, you get to do it. So lo and behold, Evan Hunter won one of the prizes and it was a cast member exclusive piece. So of course he was not going to get, everybody was like, it goes to the tribe, right? They were all teasing him. But my husband did in fact get his name pulled and this is the prize that the tribe will be getting in the uh, giveaway. It is a lovely first day opening, limited edition uh, Star Wars pin for Galaxy's Edge. So there it is. I love it because it's got this cool little up, you know, Millennium Falcon. And it's a beautiful pin. It's a really lovely pin, but it's going to the tribe. My husband felt weird because he said, I didn't win it. And I said, no, the entire tribe collaborated. And so the entire tribe, it goes to the tribe. And I told him, no, it's not our pin. It's your pin. So there we go. Ba bam huh? Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, yeah. I was excited when it happened. He was a little embarrassed. Yeah, but he was sitting opposite me and he's doing the filming. So he's cutting the video. And if I haven't mentioned it before, he's won a lot of Emmys, a lot of Emmys, a lot. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so the, the Disney and fan club was thrilled that he's going to do the cutting. And I said, oh, you know, it, it's, it, it, it's going to be really nice. It's not going to be, I'm not going to say it's, it's going to be the best of the best of the best. He would say, don't oversell me, but I will say it'll be good. And so, uh, they're very excited, uh, that we're going to share it with them too. Um, I love sitting too. Fun times for my buns. <laughs> uh, I know, right? Uh, with pumpkin carving, will you be able to do that? Not on that day. Or will I? I don't know. But I will be doing it the final weekend. Because you all love that weekend before Halloween. Halloween actually hits on a Monday this year. And I love when it hits on a Monday. Because that means I can teach you Saturday and Sunday that week before. Especially if I'm going to be involved with the Disney Anna group on the weekend before. Which is usually what I do. I usually do the, the 22nd and 23rd. But this time we're all going to be down at Disney Anna. So that won't happen. So some of the folks that I usually gather with to sculpt with, I may not be able to do that, but I might get on some farms. So now is the time to start to talk to farms. I might do that after I get back from Texas. Hello, Crumpet Puppet Troop. I love saying that together. Hi, happy Monday. Again, I finally got some Muppet Legos this weekend. You got Rolf, Gonzo, Miss Piggy, Animal, and Janice. Did you think they were the most amazing thing ever? They are so, 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 so cute, aren't they? Everyone hunting for Kermit. So uh, I, I haven't gotten mine yet. I actually ordered them. And uh, you can't order them specifically unless you go to eBay. Someone's pulled them out and you can buy them like that. But what fun is that? So, uh We'll see. May, I, I hope they don't get me for a gazillion Lego things, you know. But congratulations. It's, I think they're beautiful. They're just beautiful. 
My niece got to stay at Give Kids the World. She has a star there, Sandra. This is what I'm talking about. This is an amazing, amazing uh, organization. And I'm so happy. Uh, one of the tribe members actually put them in touch with me. And uh, he had, just like you, a family member stay there and actually did make a wish there. So uh, I'm looking really forward to seeing what I can do for them. Yeah, I really, really am looking forward to it. Yes, yes, and yes. Thank you. Won't be today, but I, I'll reach out to you. Uh, I want to publicly congratulate you, says Michelle. It was a, it was lovely to witness you receive the honor of legend by Disney Anna Fan Club. I want to say the tribe was so proud of you Saturday night. Everyone should join the tribe. It's such a wonderful, positive group. Thank you for that, Michelle Donnell. And Michelle Donnell, I don't know if I mentioned to you, she uh, came to the pumpkin class and got bitten by the art bug. And she's been she's been doing all kinds of wonderful things. And then she started painting. She was painting. Okay, we were we got to painting because I I to let people know about charities. And one of them is the Red Dot Auction, where anyone can paint and donate it to the auction to help the Chuck Jones uh, Center for Creativity. And I'm happy to say there are several of Tribe members who put a painting in there. One of them was Michelle Den Dwinell, who had never painted in acrylics. And I'm close to never painting in acrylics. So it was like, whoa, you know, <laughs> we were both kind of bantering back and forth. Is yours done? No, is yours done? No, ah. you know, it was great. And I want to tell you, Michelle, it was great to see you. Always a pleasure and to have your support along with the other 19 uh, tribe members and then my family and friends. And my family and friends said, you are all just such a great group. They, My family has never been to an event of mine, ever. And there they were. Well, my, my, my stepson slash son, Ian. Okay, so I'm the second mom for Ian. But uh, he had gone to events. He'd gone to events at Disney. And you know how young people are. You know, you're 15 or 16 and you want to ride the ride. You don't want to sit there and shake hands and say, yes, I'm the son. <laughs> you know, but he had he handled it very well. And this time he was great. He's, he's a PhD. So he's Dr. Uh, Ian Breckenridge Jackson. He's a wonderful guy. And uh, he was there and my my sister and brother-in-law were there. And uh, uh, I had several friends there, including my dentist. So it was a great night. You'll see, you'll see, you'll see more because we're going to, we're going to show it, uh, especially on the tribe. We're going to show it. So yeah. Leo says, thanks. The shooter's healing well. Saw a hunk of metal in my hip. Uh, let's see. Saw the hunk of metal in my hip with a new x-ray. Have three months of physical therapy two times a week. Pain management is a lot easier. And Leo, we're all thinking of you and good for you. Yay. I'm so excited to hear uh, how your physical therapy goes. So keep us posted. He says, sorry, Lee Forbes says, sorry, I missed your probably event, but, uh, Lee is like Leo. Um, there are times, Oh, look, Chris is in the house. Stop. <laughs> uh, Lee is a lot like Leo. So it's great that he is able to pop on today. Many congratulations for your well-deserved accolades. Well, Chris, I got to say, shut the front door. It's great to hear from you. You are still in uh, Ireland, are you not? Uh, I'm just so happy that you got to go over there and that you have been uh, rocking it over there just like you've been rocking it in Canada. Uh, the amazing comic book illustrator, writer. He's just, he's just, I, I don't have enough time to tell you about Chris McCauley. Google him, will you? Um, he's fantastic and amazing. And my love of comic books comes and, and has been rekindled by the amazing Chris McCauley. So I've got to tell you, he, uh, he really taught me some things about a comic book and how they're made and how they come together and, and what, what does what, and together we did one as a charity, uh, as a charity gift. Like it's not, wasn't for a charity, but, but as a charitable request from someone, the, uh, Belfast Batman, uh, for a little boy who wanted to be, who drawn up a comic book and we, we illustrated and Chris went as far as getting, this is how amazing he is, uh, as getting the DC, I hope I'm right with that. The DC mark on, as I know I'm right with that, the DC mark. So when you buy a comic book from DC or Marvel, you know, they have the little square and it says officially it's an official Marvel comic or official DC. Chris went as far as doing that for this little boy. So it must've been a real, the Belfast Batman said the, the little boy just didn't know what to say when he saw the comic. And I was really loving uh, experiencing 
being a part of comic book art. So Chris has uh, made me feel wonderful. And he also, uh, I'm a ch I am love giving to charity and love participating in stuff like that. So I had a real warm space for me for the Belfast Batman, for this boy we call the sidekick, and especially for the amazing comic book illustrator, writer, designer, creator, Chris McCulley, who is finally getting the recognition he deserves after such a long time. Amazing, amazing man. And thank you for taking the time away from your island. He went back home and got to see family this time. He got to be with people and share a pint, as he tells me. So uh, I wish I could have gone with him. I've never been. But uh, seeing it through his eyes is the next best thing. And his lovely wife, Bonnie. So yay! Uh, uh, and thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for chiming in, Chris. Leo says, agreed. One of you is... is is perfect as you are unique, Terry. The world might implode if there are two of you. Bob Gurr was sure of it. And you know Bob Gurr. He's like, hey, you know, if you don't know Bob Gurr, you got to meet this guy. All right. Oh, yeah. Terry's an adventure. Terry's an attraction. Terry is a thrill ride. And thank God there's only one Terry because, uh, and, uh, and Bob is continually designing okay he did the utopia cars he did the matterhorn he did etc he did the, the the little uh spaceships that i used to ride when i was a little kid and wouldn't get out of now he's learning all about the scooter so uh, as i understand it he was given a scooter i don't think he purchased the scooter and he redesigned the entire scooter he's working on a new innovative design. Why? Because he's an Imagineer and that's what Imagineers do. We can't leave anything alone. And Bob is a tinkerer. So uh, you'll really love this, this scooter. I immediately thought of Bob Burdeen and said, oh my gosh, because I watched Bob Burdeen struggle, you know, to get out of his scooter into a chair so he could sit properly at table. If you have a scooter, you know what I'm talking about. Well, uh, Bob Gurr has innovated the the seat for the scooter making it being able to turn tilt raise lower so you know you've seen probably some of those that turn they're nothing like the gur one so uh he said that's coming soon and i guess this company is really delighted to have the retired bob gur working on that so amazing amazing guy and uh i'm happy to say is my friend so thank you, Leo, as I'm happy to say, Leo is my friend and all of you as well. I've missed you, but go rest and we will see you later. Yep, it's getting to the bottom. You guys are always so thoughtful about me and that's why I'm always so honest with you. Yeah, absolutely. Had a great time this weekend and congratulations. Judy, yes. And Judy, I hope you're wearing your glasses because and then see if everybody can see Grogu, okay? So be sure you wear your glasses. Judy has these amazing sunglasses that are this beautiful Grogu mint green. And apparently when the sun hits, I guess that's the way it works. Grogu appears. She can't see it, but you can. And uh, apparently, I mean, they're really super cool. So uh, I hope she wears them today. The, the P, okay, what does that mean? <laughs> he's, he's teaching me. The people at the church in Laguna Woods aren't feeling so great today either. Exactly. You know, it, it, doesn't it feel like you live in Laguna because you are a certain um, income level in a lot of Laguna Beach? It's known as a as a level of people where the homes are a, lo a lot more expensive and stuff. And the church, uh, it's just they've been they were just hit like crazy. And my heart goes out to them. I really didn't know about it till today. And thank goodness the news kept reporting it so I could hear it. So um, we were in an area having a lot of fun and we were out from the, the cold, harsh world. So um, be safe out there and be careful. And my heart goes out to every single person uh, that, that was a, a, a victim of that tragedy, who was related to this tragedy and to the city who has to take the brunt of this tragedy. These are never anything that uh, it affects everybody. It affects everybody. And I'm going to tell you right now, I know my words aren't the, they don't maybe heal you, heal you. Cause you know, sometimes after so many people say you're in my prayers, I'm sorry for your loss. It, 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 it doesn't really resonate as it should. Cause you really are hurting. 
understand it's the best we can do on the outside. We just want to know that we're thinking of you and that we care about all of you. And it hurts our heart that someone would be so mean. And, uh, and so, uh, chicken as to do something so terrible, but we, we feel it with you. We just want you to know that we want to acknowledge that we, we feel we are, we are feeling not like you're feeling it, but we're letting you know, we're not ignoring it either. Okay. I know, I know it's, it's not enough. I get it. Okay. I talked about this the other day too. Um, I get it, but people are doing the best they can to let you know that, that their heart goes out to you. Many with action, with the flowers and things like that too. Thank you for bringing that up, Joe. Looking forward to seeing the ceremony. Yes, I can't wait to show it to you. Jay Aldrich. Oh my goodness. Congrats. Sorry I couldn't be there. Oh man, if you'd have been there, <laughs> I'd have fallen over. Yeah, uh, the Disney and a fan club international is very special to me. They gave me my first time on stage as a speaker. And Jay was president at the time. And uh, we met for the first time. And uh, uh, I told him he had to go in the back to stop me like this or wave or jump up and down or something because I only had 20 minutes to speak. Now that we're almost at an hour and I told you it was going to be short, you know why I needed Jay at the back, don't you? Welcome, Jay. And you were there in spirit, I know. Thank you for saying so. You are putting on an Academy Award worthy performance. If I didn't know you were asleep deprived, I would never know. Aw, Evan, thank you. But go to Disneyland, go have fun. Those people that haven't been to Disneyland in a while, like Darren, he's going to need your expertise, buddy. Make sure he got, I know I can ask you guys that are there, Melissa, to get, to make sure we get Darren on, uh, on those two really cool, uh, uh, galaxy, uh, edge rides. Okay. I just, I, yeah, I'm so excited for him. Sorry. I can't be there. Cindy, I see her. I see you coming up. Uh, can't you both do your channels together at the same time? We just might. That's what I'm going to ask him. Cause he's the one that taught me. So, uh, and my husband then worked with me based on what, uh, Tim Gillette taught me. So uh, knowing Tim, he's going to make me broadcast. So, but I'm not going to make a promise just in case he says, no, we better not. Okay. Cause I'm there to learn some more cool stuff so I can bring you more cool stuff. So I have to be present in my class, you know, hello, Jennifer. How are you? It's good to see you. Bob Berdine says, we thought it was so funny when your husband and Steven Russo took pictures of each other. Aren't they funny? So Steven Russo is kind of the official photographer for fandom. And he does amazing pictures. Steven Russo has the ability to get pictures that are surprising. You go where, how, when, and you don't usually catch him. But my husband also had a camera and he was taking stills at certain parts of the presentation. And then Steven said he wanted to get a picture of my husband at the camera and my husband took it off and they did dueling cameras. It was adorable. Everyone loved that little bit of performance because my husband is a, is a, is an entertainer as well. And uh, when we introduced ourselves at table with the tribe, he did a, uh, I don't know if it was a shanty or a limerick, but everybody loved it. Yeah. He, he's, He's a behind the curtain kind of a guy, but he, he stepped up to that one. So they really had, there's Tim Gillette. There he is. Hello from Texas. So here's the man. We'll see. I have to be a good student. So I'm not going to make any promises, but if we can do it, maybe we will. Okay. Maybe. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> I love you guys. You're so sweet. You're so sweet. Thank you for popping in, Tim Gillette. Your ears must have been burning. I'm talking a lot about coming to see you uh, this weekend. So I'm just, I'm tickled. I'll be flying out Wednesday. Yeah, look at, they're all like, Tim Gillette, see, you're, you're famous, Tim. <laughs> he knew that. He knew that already. <laughs> Joe, you're on it, man. You're on it, buddy. Hi, David Lewis. Great to hear from you. Great to see you. Diane says Laguna Woods is a senior retirement community. I know. And I, I saw the people today. Okay. Cause I, whenever I'm away from home, I have the news on 
it's just in the background why I'm puttering because that's where I kind of catch up is in a hotel room in between sleep time. And, uh, and I saw this, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. And isn't that uh, Diane where they were saying they think it was, uh, uh, it's not a racist act, although it was a racist act. It was do it was it was because I don't know, but it sounded like the guy didn't like uh the people because of something they could not change. That's what I was getting from it, but maybe I got it mixed up because guess what? There were other shootings. Buff what was it, Buffalo, New York? Um oh. man, man, you know. More of you got to understand what it means to be a good human being because you're so blessed to be a human being. You guys are so special, you know, and then it's really a shame that these people come and, and, and need to be feel special. And apparently one of these guys, I think one in Buffalo, New York, actually live streamed it. I mean, seriously, luckily, however he was streaming live, they had the, the ability to cut him off before it really got bad. But come on, fool. You know, really? Gosh, if only he'd use his brain for good instead of evil. You know, come on. So, yeah, it was tough. It was tough. Laguna Woods might even be a city unto itself. I can't remember. Well, it sounds like it is. It sounds like it is, you know, it's in the area of Laguna. And then there was, you know, but Laguna, I think, you know, puts its arm around Laguna Hills and Laguna Hills puts their arm around Laguna. And I think they kind of love on each other because, you know, you have that name and it's a great place. I spent my 40th birthday in Laguna. I love it. I filmed my mermaid tale in Laguna. Laguna has great rock structures and the beach is gorgeous. So it's a lot of, we like a lot of people like to film there. And so um, it's very, very sad. It's always sad when a fire rips through homes. Okay. It's just sad. I don't care if you're in the middle of podunk, if it rips through your home, not cool. It's just not good. And it's really upsetting. And I, I, I get tweaked. I do. Because you get these yahoos who in the middle of the night are going on our 118 freeway and throwing fireworks in Porter Ranch trying to set fire to the hills. You know, like this is fun. What were you, drunk? You're driving around in your car. You have a few fireworks, which are illegal in California. You think it'll be fun to throw them out and start a fire? What is the matter with you people? Those people are crazy people. Crazy people should leave. Okay, these people that want to set fires because it's fun. You know, use yourself for good instead of evil. Don't be destroying people. You, you're better than that. And then, ugh, don't get me started. Don't get me started, guys. It's just so upsetting. Hi, Jay. <laughs> Jay was a great president of the club. He was. And he was my first introduction to the Disneyana fan club, which back then was the NFFC. I was trying to put Disney in with NFFC and I finally had to ask him what it meant. And it was the, what was it, Cindy? National uh, Fan Something Club. National Fantasy Fan Club, I think, right? Um, but then they changed to uh, the Disney Anna because they all love Disney Anna. So it was great. Hello, Ron D. King. Thank you. I really appreciate you chiming in. Audrey, there she is. I hope you get a lot of rest. Audrey did a little sculpture for me I absolutely love. I'll show it to you later. Uh, I did not dig it out. But uh, I will tell you that she had a great time. So the tribe went to Company D, which is a cast member store. Only cast members can take you. She found a poster that was done of, of, of something that was by Bob Gurr, and she got to get it signed by Bob Gurr. And then she had, uh, what did you say, Audrey? 20 minutes of conversation with him. He's very gregarious. So she was just on cloud nine. I had to like pull her down because she was floating up in the air. So she was just lovely. She's just, a, a, and she came all the way from East Coast area, uh, as I understand it. Where were we? Milwaukee, Audrey? The uh the 
Rick, Rick Law and Bob Gurr teased me mercilessly because someone came from that far, Audrey, to see me and celebrate me. They were really giving it to me. They were. Rick said he called the tribe a cult. And Bob Gurr was like, well, I don't know if anybody's ever done that for me. You know they did. Audrey did. For one thing, she came for both of us. So, uh, But Bob Gurr loves to needle me. That's one of the reasons he likes me. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Um, yes, the shooting in Buffalo is definitely a racist act because he specially targeted black people. Twitch cut the live stream shortly after the violence began. Yes, he was on Twitch. Well, thank you, Twitch, for 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 being there and and not making him. Uh, I mean, I uh, I just I just don't. Yeah. I mean, you don't get it, right? I don't get it. You know, there, there, are, there are times that people of color, I remember uh, I had family that said, you know, it's, 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 it's not easy being a person of color, especially in 1956, 57, when I was a little girl. Uh, and they said, you know, sometimes people wish they weren't black. They wish they were white because they wanted the privileges that the white folks had. But my father always said, you know, it's nothing we can change. So we have to own it. We have to embrace it. And he is my, my hero. And that's why I embraced it. Even though people set my hair on fire and said I was passing and I wasn't. This skin is my skin. Didn't bleach it. Didn't do anything weird. It's just my color because I favor my mom in facial and I favor my dad in hair. So there you go. Yeah, I got a few features of my father too, but what I'm saying is I'm lighter than my mother. So what are you gonna do about it, right? I, I said at the event, all people are a color, aren't they? So what does that mean exactly? You know, but I know what it means. I just think that it's a raw, it's a it's definitely a dumb reason to be being mean to people. Uh, National Fantasy Fan Club. Yay, I got it. Ding, 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 ding. What do I win? No. <laughs> Michigan. There you are, Michigan. Boy, did he chew me out about you coming from Michigan. He would not let me live it down. In my ear constantly. Right, 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 right. Yeah, both of them. Both of them. Yep. Yep. They were, they did. They were having a ball because of you. And so was I. I really loved it. And uh, Audrey, thank you for being so kind to my friend, Steve Muntz. He's a really sweet guy. All y'all, thank you for being so kind to him. He's a great guy, a quiet guy. Uh, a quiet guy who's extremely lucky, but he really needs to be in the tribe too. So look at this, just a little over an hour. I wonder if the shooting in Laguna was also racially motivated because it predominantly was exactly that's what they said on the news today is they felt that guy was the same way racially motivated but the but the pastor knocked the shooter out by throwing a chair at him hey i didn't hear that part how come they aren't talking about that part joe i really like that part man was the was the was the what did you say pastor yes was he a former wwf because that is a WWF move, isn't it? Good for you, buddy. Good for you. And I'll bet you the rest of the congregation jumped on that fool. So good for you. Good for you. There are truly mean-spirited people in the world. I had a customer at Kroger on Saturday. Because I was wearing a mask, uh, mask that I should, told you that you should be fired. Loser. He's a loser, isn't he? Um, she said that she was a nurse and that COVID wasn't real. Oh, no, one of those. Um, as she was walking out of the store and past me, she said that my bagger and I should be called chicken, children of the damned. Oh, nice. Excuse me for that. Fortunately, she won't be coming back to my store. Congratulations on your award. And yes, you definitely deserve it. Um, um being fortunate enough. Let me tell you something, Jennifer, you don't want that fool in your store. You know, we, 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 we're exposed to a couple of fools like that. They listen to Joe Rogan and they think that Joe Rogan isn't fake news. Okay. If that's you, I've just offended you. Sorry, but Hey, come on, come on. The, 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 
we were so looked after at the Disney Anna fan club that the first thing they announced was that was that Kim Irvine had gotten COVID. She had tested, try, hoping that she was through it, but she wasn't, and she had to stay home. Bless her heart. But that was a wake-up call for everybody involved with the Disney Anna fan club. We all said, whoa, we have to protect. We have to still be, be cautious. So good for you for wearing that mask because you got tons of people, including her sorry butt. So there you go. Apologize for the butt. Uh, but she, come on. Those kind of people are the ones that affect other people. And you don't need that. You know, you don't need that. And you, you're, you're, you're there doing your thing, you know, helping people out. So wash yourself of that. Cleanse yourself of that right now. Cleanse it away, Jennifer. Don't think about it again. No more airtime for her. All right. She's gone. She's in the past. Think of all the people who walk up and appreciate you wearing that mask and appreciate you taking care of them one at a time. I certainly prefer a human as a checker than those little things you do yourself. Yuck. Yuck. Hate those. Hate that automated garbage. So, uh, so thank you for you doing that. I agree with your father. I always told my children, this is Bob Berdine. Uh, uh, I, all I have to do is stay brown and die. Everything else is a choice. <laughs> That's pretty brilliant, Bob. <laughs> you should write a book. <laughs> that was pretty good. That was really good. Wasn't that good? That was good. Audrey says, Steve is so fascinating to talk to. He has great stories. He does, doesn't he? Um, and I love his little church mouse. He's, he's really, he's one of those, uh, he's one of those that, that when you take the time to talk at him, he, he just, he just blooms up like a blooming onion. You know, he, he's an amazing fellow. He's an amazing fellow. Uh, did he tell you about his, him winning, um, him winning one of the, winning a jackpot? Did he tell you his jackpot winning stories? The guy is seriously lucky. It's scary how lucky that guy is. Um, kudos to the pastor. How brave, how brave. So well said. Uh, can you believe this girl is like in her twenties? She is a wise youngster. She is just so, uh, so grateful to have her. She's in the tribe, man. You don't know what you're missing out. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome, Jennifer. And with that, guys, a little over an hour, short for me, do something nice for someone. It'll make you feel so much better. You've seen it today. Joe, letting us say to the people who were injured, hurt, and discreet, you know, scrutinized and, and whatever because of something they cannot change and something they don't want to change. I'm Asian and proud of it. I'm black and proud of it. I'm mixed and proud of it. You be proud of you. You be proud of what you bring because what good is a meal if it's all Melba toast, right? What good is a meal if it's all Melba toast? Can you imagine having Melba toast every day of the year? We like color on our plate. We love all the colors in the world. So let's love all the colors in the world. All right. And I love you. I'm going to go rest now. I'm going to go get some tea and honey for my voice. And uh, thank you for joining me today. Uh, hugs to you too. Thank you. You are so amazing. Every single one of you is so, so amazing. I will see you a week from Monday, maybe Friday. Okay. All right. I love you. Mwah.